15 Things You Didn't Know About Simon Cowell Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Today we're revealing some interesting and surprising facts about the English reality television judge and producer, Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell was born October 7, 1959 in Lambeth, London, with zero qualifications. He hustled his way into the music business at a very young age. He went from working in a mailroom at a music publishing company to starting his own production company. His early career was marked by several high highs and low lows. He experienced over a decade of steady success before stepping into the spotlight as a judge on the first season of American Idol in 2002 and becoming a household name largely due to his reputation of being the mean judge. In 2003, he launched Psycho Entertainment, which has released recordings by a number of popular artists, including One Direction, Susan Boyle, Fifth Harmony, and Leona Lewis, and is responsible for producing The X Factor and the Got Talent television franchises. Cowell has twice been named one of the 100 most influential people in the world by Time magazine. We are inspired by Cowell's ambition, success, resiliency, and luxurious lifestyle. So let's take a closer look at the entertainment mogul with these 15 things you didn't know about Simon Cowell. Number 1. He dropped out of school at age 16. Simon admits he was a terrible student who always acted up and had horrendous grades. His bad behavior led him to attending a total of 16 schools, and by the age of 16, he decided to drop out altogether because he saw it as a waste of time. Number 2. Simon's dad got him his first job in the music industry. Simon struggled to keep a job after dropping out of high school, but his dad was an executive at EMI Music Publishing, and he managed to get him a job in the mailroom. Simon remembers certain employees of the company looking down on him because he was just a mailboy, but not too long after, he and a manager at the company left to form their own record company called E&S Music. Although that venture quickly failed, Simon soon went on to form Fanfare Records and produced his first hit song, which was So Macho by Sonata, who he ended up dating on and off for about 20 years. Number 3. He had to move back in with his parents at the age of 30. In the late 80s, the parent company of Simon's Fanfare Records folded, taking Simon's company down with it. This was a major setback for Simon who had tied up most of his money in stocks of the parent company, which he believed was going to continue to be successful. Simon was left with no company and a bank account that was about $700,000 in the negative. He had less than $5 in pocket money, all of which he used to take a taxi to his parents' house, where he then had to live at the age of 30. Despite all of this though, Simon remembers that he was happy at this point in his life and never lost faith in himself. Number 4. He Bought the Rights to Power Rangers Music in the early 1990s, Simon Cowell called up the creator of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Haim Sabin, and asked him to sell the music rights to the show. Cowell convinced him to sell the rights for $50,000 and went on to sell millions of CDs with the show's theme music. Number 5. His net worth is $550 million Simon obviously has a lot of revenue streams, including his entertainment company, Psycho, and his judging roles on X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, and American Idol. His estimated net worth is $550 million, and his annual income is around $95 million. Number 6. He Usually Wakes Up at Noon you wouldn't think that an ambitious and successful person like Simon would regularly sleep until noon, but this in fact is true. There's a good reason for that though, and it's that Simon is a night owl. He prefers to work through the night until the early morning hours, and then he sleeps until noon, often enjoying breakfast in bed before starting his workday. Number 7. He bought the rights to the music played on WWE. While Simon was working for BMG as an A&R consultant, which was his first job after moving back in with his parents, his friend told him about how massively popular the wrestling company WWF, now called WWE, had become. He went to a wrestling event and recognized how much music was used throughout the show. 
He called up WWE owner Vince McMahon directly and asked to talk to him about marketing the music. This call resulted in him purchasing the music rights to the WWE, which turned out to be a very lucrative venture. Number 8. He was arrested at the age of 12 When Simon was just 12 years old, he was arrested for hijacking a bus with a pea gun. Simon said he had a gun that fired peas about 6 feet, and he and his friend decided to pull a prank on a bus with it. He held the pea gun to the driver's head and demanded that the bus driver take them wherever they wanted to go. He remembers sitting on the bus and thinking the bus driver was really playing along well because he didn't stop the bus for 20 miles. But when the bus finally did stop, police were waiting for them and arrested Simon and his friend. Number 9. He had an affair with his friend's wife. Simon started dating his longtime girlfriend, Lauren Silverman, in 2009, while she was still married to his friend at the time, Andrew Silverman. They first hooked up on a joint vacation between Cowell and the Silvermans, and they had a secret affair for four years before Lauren became pregnant and the pair decided to take their relationship public. Simon said that he's not proud of the circumstances, but he's very much in love with Lauren and he adores their son. Number 10. He turned down $2 million to be the face of Viagra. In 2007, Simon's agent called him with an offer from Pfizer. They were willing to pay him $2 million to become the new face of Viagra, you know, the widely known erectile dysfunction drug. Simon immediately declined, saying it was an insult to even be asked. Well, actually, that was the clean version of what he said. But if you want to find out some more interesting facts about the pharmaceutical corporation, click on the top right corner to watch our video of 15 things you didn't know about Pfizer. Number 11. Simon's Got Talent is the world's most successful reality TV format. In 2014, Simon's Got Talent TV format was officially recognized by Guinness World Records as the world's most successful reality TV format. In 2005, the first Got Talent pilot was made in the United Kingdom, but the series was postponed after the host, Paulo Grady, dropped out. The first successful version of the format, America's Got Talent, debuted in 2006. Since then, over 70 countries have had shows based on the Got Talent format. For comparison, the American Idol format, which was also created by Simon Cowell, has been used in 46 countries, and The X Factor is in 54 countries. Number 12. His Bugatti Veyron was sold at auction for $1.25 million. Simon's 2008 Bugatti Veyron, which was the first pre-owned certified Veyron worldwide, was sold at a Barrett-Jackson auction in 2014 for $1.25 million. The 1,000-horsepower car had only been driven 1,300 miles at the time of auction. A new set of tires alone costs $25,000 for this incredible car. Simon is known for his collection of luxury vehicles, which includes a Ferrari 458 Italia, a Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe, a Mercedes-Benz SL55 AMG, a Ferrari F430, a Bentley Azur, and a Lamborghini Gallardo Spider. Number 13. His home was burglarized while he and his family slept. In 2015, Simon's $14 million London home was burglarized while he, his girlfriend Lauren, and their son Eric slept inside. The thief made off with about $1 million worth of jewelry and cash, and this is the second time he was burglarized while he was at home. In 2012, a 30-year-old woman smashed his window with a brick and entered his house. He called the police and the woman was found hiding inside a closet. Simon says he still has nightmares about the burglary. He spent about $700,000 upgrading his security system, including installing a panic room, and he's bought a bat that he keeps by his bed. The burglar was caught and sentenced to eight years in prison. Number 14. He owns a $61.5 million Gulfstream private jet. Cowell has refused to take commercial flights for as long as he could afford to do so because he hates not being able to smoke while in flight. For a while, he was chartering private jets to accommodate his smoking habit, but eventually he decided to buy his own Gulfstream G550 for $61.5 million. 
Number 15. He bought a $24 million compound in Malibu in 2017. Simon Cowell owns a few different properties in London, Barbados and Beverly Hills, and in December 2017, he added another property to the list when he purchased a $24 million oceanfront compound in Malibu, California. The 8,600-square-foot mansion sits on two acres with gardens, a lit tennis court, a koi pond, and a swimming pool. The six-bedroom, seven-bathroom house also has a separate staff quarters, a spa, and a guest suite with a private entrance. Now that you've learned some more about Simon Cowell, we'd like to know, do you think his mean guy persona is more of a facade or how he actually is in real life? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. I mentioned earlier that Cowell purchased the rights to Power Rangers music. Well, in 2013, at a fundraiser for the Friends of the Israel Defense Forces, Power Rangers creator Haim Sabin offered to give $1 million toward the cause if Simon sang the Power Rangers theme song in front of everybody. And Simon actually did it. Well, kind of. He sang one line of the song and then offered to donate $250,000 of his own money to stop singing. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.